welcome back to your channel seek the soul the truth lies within and today we're going to talk about a very controversial topic so listen till the end i'm going to talk to you about celibacy exactly and we're going to take this topic all the way into your relationships all the way into your health we're going to even talk about whether celibacy is important before marriage we're even going to talk about celibacy within marriage exactly a lot of people are living that kind of life I'm going to talk to you about how mentally you're going to get affected if you're a celibate and if you're not. How it affects you physically, how it affects you morally, how it affects you financially. So keep on watching these episodes because I'm going to cover all these episodes and I'm going to touch these topics one by one. I cannot cover everything in one go, right? So let's first talk about celibacy. It started right when you were a child. You were natural, you were celibate and then you if you are still a celibate wonderful i'm going to tell you the reasons why and then if you have left celibacy and you've got into the world which we talk about the worldly world and it's important it's necessary science is also proving that yes if you're not into sexual activity then you're missing out on something your health is not going to improve you're not going to have a glow on your face well there are a lot of things a lot of journals which have been written about but yes if you think about celibacy does it really affect you physically Let's talk about that first. So, in my personal experience, I've been a celibate for a couple of years. I've also lived a life of being sexually active and I realized the difference after being a celibate. So, it is something which cannot be debated on a just a scientific basis. It has to be experienced first. So, first experience celibacy and then you will be able to understand what I'm going to talk to you about on this channel under this episode of celibacy. and how love and lust are different aspects remind me in the comments that i'm going to talk to you about love and lust too so let's start about celibacy you see when i was a celibate a natural celibate like you were when you were a teen you were somebody who was energetic you were not so moody you were not so irritable you were not feeling sad all the time you were getting all the love from your parents from your family members from your friends around you right you were not maybe so aware about your sexual differences male and female the gender difference and that's the time when you were connecting to people on a very different level altogether you were not thinking about getting sexual favors from that person right so the love was very different do you agree with me or not now when we were in that stage did you have any issues of memory loss did you have any issues of forgetfulness Do you have any issues of anxiety? Did you have any issues of irritability or anger or jealousy or any of those things? Because I can't remember those things at all. I don't feel I had those issues when I was in my pre-teens. I was not sexually active. That's what I experienced in my life. Now let's talk about how it affected me physically. So I realized when I got into sexual activities, I realized, and I did a research on Google also. I realized that there were certain hormones which were getting affected in my body. The first thing which was being released was dopamine. Mind you, dopamine gets released even when you're having chocolate, even when you are having alcohol, or you are actually addicted to any other form of thing. It could be drugs also, right? So, dopamine is either created naturally. That means the happiness uh, hormone. It's known as that. Serotonin, oxytocin are also happiness hormones. Either we can create them naturally through our thoughts. and i have spoken about those things in a couple of my videos too you can go through them actually you can create them through an external source too like alcohol like chocolate like coffee and other things so you become dependent upon those things right so as i said you can either create those dopamine which is the happiness index hormones by your thoughts or you can take those hormones to a higher level through the things outside So what I realized is that into a sexual activity when you are in that you are actually releasing dopamine, oxytocin, and serotonin in your body. And when you are doing that on a regular basis, what happens? You become an addict, right? Just like having a smoke, just like having drugs, just like having alcohol, or having cravings for any kind of food item. So dopamine levels they go very high. <clears throat> Now these levels when they go very high. they actually affect your body your physical attributes so i realized one thing that 
whenever these levels were very high i became more lazy because an external influence is satisfying me i don't need to work hard i don't need to focus on my things so i was into postponement i was into laziness i was into indiscipline i was into irritability i was uh, moody at that time because suddenly the spike of uh, dopamine and other hormones and suddenly what happens you're not going to be in an act of sexuality for 24 hours right so you can cannot make that as a source of your high levels of dopamine but if you become an addict to it you see let's let's go back a couple of uh, years now i'm talking about thousands of years there was a time when sexuality was used as a means of having babies where you had sexual activity just to have a child and there have been documented live patterns of certain people who just got into the activity just as to have kids and then for years and years they lived happily as a husband and a wife and uh, that was the only way to get a child and not to get pleasure out of it but then when slowly slowly the mind got active or addicted to those hormones over a period of time now what we see we see even rape cases which are going up higher that comes under the social activity or the social paradigm of our society i'm talk to you about so i'm just touching a couple of things now so if you can relate to me you see the mind becomes addicted to these higher levels dopamine serotonin and oxytocin so either we become addicted to it or we control it now celibacy is about controlling those levels but if you don't control it if you don't experience being a celibate then this is something which you're not going to understand right so i'm talking about when these levels are very high when we get active into sexual activity day and night maybe 10 times in a week or four times in a week five times in a week even twice in a week because you know sexual activity was just for creating babies or not for pleasure purpose itself so when the dopamine and these hormones go higher yes scientists are right at one point where these levels when they go higher they bring a glow on your face you start getting younger you might lose weight but when you become addicted to it for a very long time what happens is serotonin since it's something which is produced in the gut into the intestine it actually makes you feel more hungry so you start becoming more hungry imagine you're not having sex throughout the day right you're not having sex throughout the week every 24 hours so that means what when your dopamine levels are high you are elevated you're feeling happy and suddenly when you are in your normal day activity what happens you still are craving for that higher dopamine level you're still craving for that higher oxytocin level certain levels and so what are the choices you're in office you can't be having a sexual activity there right I don't know but then yes you start looking for cravings you start having cravings so you start looking for chocolates or you start looking for high calorie food items so you just start grabbing food or you feel hungry by the way after sexual activity you feel very hungry most of you must have experienced i'm talking to all the people who are listeners here who have experienced this thing you become very hungry so you have an appetite which is not regulated you might be feeling lazy you might be getting up late you might be having food late in 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 your life you might be sleeping late and that's what happened that takes a toll on your life so on a physical level when you start overeating just to maintain those dopamine levels serotonin levels what happens exactly weight gain so over a long period of time you realize that you are gaining weight so what does abstinence or let's say celibacy do celibacy actually shifts your mind towards other activities which can make you happier you see most of the people in the scientific community if you see most of the discoveries which have been done whether on a spiritual level whether the different uh, uh, scriptures which have been written they have been written by being underground underground what i mean by underground is by being somebody who was detached from the society from the world so those famous people in this world who have given something on a spiritual basis like scriptures like scientific discoveries have always been in a state of celibacy it is actually something which is not forced upon yourself it is something which is attained on your own when you are focused on something on a very grave band matter 
manner so let's say you are focused on something what happens when you are actively focused on your life on certain areas of life these activities don't become important so celibacy helps you to focus on certain area of your life uh, be it financial progress be it uh, physical physical progress you want to become somebody who's more healthier practicing yoga or physical bodybuilding or pilates or anything else you can channelize all those energies a part of your mind is not focused on these things to increase your dopamine level to be happy all the time the happiness index hormones are not created out of sexual activity so now your energies are challenged uh, channel, channeled so when you are channeling your energies that's the time you're feeling happy you're achieving something in your life success comes through those activities so in my life i've experienced when i was following celibacy i'm still following that in my life when i'm following celibacy i realize that i am more focused i'm less agitated as before i become less sad i become less angry and these levels are maintained for a prolonged period of time it doesn't mean that i am 100% out of anger or 100% of irritation or 100% of sadness but then i have a power to focus on certain aspect of life many of the people who are on me they might say that i'm feeling sad because when you focus on something you remove all the distractions from around you you don't even listen to anything around you you're so focused mentally you're so sharp that you are not affected by any person around you you become more powerful mentally which i'm going to talk about in the next episode about how mentally it affects you so if you realize how physically it affects you your weight is maintained your muscle mass when it comes to men your muscle mass is maintained you can increase your muscle mass actually you can have less body aches you will be less unhealthy your physical issues in your life will be reduced to a lot of to a certain level so i'm going to leave you with this small thing to think about about celibacy i hope if you practice it for a week for a month for two months three months you realize all those things which i have spoken to you about right now you like experience all those things which i have spoken to you about right now and the glow on your face is going to come automatically you don't need to get into that activity celibacy also brings about focus happiness and you can channelize your energies beyond sexual activity onto certain other activities which actually make meaning in your life so enjoy this channel keep watching and do subscribe and do like and do share if you do so take care Bye bye see you soon